Hi there, Jason Cook from Cookie Composites. Just a quick welcome to you today to give you a bit of a rundown on one of our new products. It's a chink up for our fuel helmet. Basically our chink up is going to come in all the groovy fuel colours, I'll just run through them. Bubblegum, navy blue, charcoal, orange, royal blue, black, white, yellow, red and lime green. A couple of key features, the reasons why we designed a new chink up. We've made a new chink up foam out of some really nice materials. One being Coolmax. And Coolmax is a material that the Adventure Outdoor Clothing companies are starting to use where the material sits against your skin. Coolmax provides good anti-wicking, anti-moisture, antimicrobial kind of features. Which basically at the end of the day for us skydivers means that hopefully over time the thing will feel really nice against our skin and won't start to smell. These chin cups are held in place by Velcro, very easy to remove. And there's two ladder step receivers that are riveted to the uh, base of the chin cup. So that's the chin cup in a nutshell. It does feel really nice on your skin with that cool max. One of the real key features about this uh, chin cup is a very simple cutaway system. Here's what it looks like here. So basically, there's three parts to it. There's a handle, a ladder strap, and a, we call it a button, this little anodized aluminium part in the middle here. So long story short, when we pull this handle, boop, this ladder strap can come off the button. Okay, and that's the way it releases. Took us about a year to engineer this bad boy. Basically, we used um, the French Parachute Federation standards for cutaways as a guide. Um, that basically means with a 30 kilo load suspended off the helmet, the maximum pull force on the handle cannot be more than 12 kilos. This handle pulls about six on average. When we first started engineering, it was pulling about two, but we felt that because of the position on the helmet where it sits, Two kilos is like someone could brush past you, bump the handle and you could accidentally cut away your helmet, which is, we didn't want. So we've engineered it in such a way that the pull force has actually gone up. Um, very easy to put back together. The button clicks back into the ladder strap like so. And then in this groove here, the handle just squeezes back into the groove to lock it in place. The other cool feature about this, if you guys don't want to have a cutaway, say if you're doing one of those jumps where you haven't got your cameras on, you don't want a handle on your helmet, we've also made a lock. The lock looks like this. So it's just a simple matter of pull out the handle, like so, installing the lock. So this will sit inside your helmet like that. So effectively you won't have a handle outside your helmet to get knocked or bumped or whatever. Um, and it's just a regular helmet without a uh, without a cutaway system, and that comes complete with the helmet with the uh, sorry with the chin cup. The chin cups are going to retail at ninety nine dollars. Let's have a look at how it looks like on the helmet. So I've got this lime green one here. We've engineered the handle to sit just on the inside of the very exterior curve of the of the helmet, and in a such a way that as you bring your hands down, your hand your fingers will start to pick up the handle. I've got very big hands um, and you can see my hands can very or fingers can very easily slip into the size of this handle. The other cool thing about the handle is it's flexible so as your eyes do open it and does come past the helmet anyway it's, it's going to flex and, and move out of the way it should get a hit so it can't accidentally cut away. Let's have a look on the inside of the helmet and have a look at what it looks like. So basically here on the inside of the helmet I'll just have a bit of a brow. So, so we've got that button that we we're talking about. The ladder strap here clicks into the button. The handle goes up between the ladder strap into the button. And there's a wee piece of Velcro that fastens this handle in place to stop the handle from rotating. That's pretty much it. Just give you a quick demonstration. The helmet on the head. Ratchet it up, get it nice and comfortable. It does feel really good with the Coolmax. 
Okay, run your hands down your heart until you find the handle. Pull the handle, and it disconnects. Simple fact of the matter is, you're only going to lose the handle if you drop this. Not, not such a great deal. We're going to be have these as an option. Um, very easy to reinstall. There's no bits that are going to go disappearing. All you need to do then is to basically click this back on to the button, reinstall the handle, and you're good to go. I'm just going to stick it in for you, show you how simple it is. Give it a wiggle around, made it on the Velcro, and that's it, good to go. So that's pretty much our uh, new cutaway chin cup for our fuel, or if you don't want it, you can install the lock, it's just a new chin cup. This is going to be available come mid-November. We're just building stock and um, doing the final little bit of engineering on the foam. And uh, we think these are going to be a really nice addition to your fuel helmets. So, look, thanks for listening. We hope you had a great uh, summer season. And um, thanks for uh, supporting us and our products. Have a good day.